Good morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here for cook number 41. I think that's what it is anyway. Um, yeah, another balmy day, beautiful sunshine. I'll do this way so you can see it, but I might go, hello, there you go. We're trying to not get the white balance going up and down like we had last week, so um, slightly different angle. Um, but yeah, so beautiful balmy day. I think it's minus two at the moment. So um, we've got the chiller, especially here for my American champagne. Look, I've got it on ice today. Um, nice to keep it cool. That's the way I like it. Um, so yeah, a bit chilly. So today we are going to do three-ish dishes. Um, and they're the ones you requested. Well, one of the ones is one of the ones you requested. So tacos. So we are going to do two types of tacos and I've started some and then I'm gonna do the others as we go through. Uh, and oh, it is freezing and it's windy, it's horrible. Next weekend, by the way, sunny and 14. I'll be out in my shorts and t-shirt. Um, <laughs> maybe not. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna do tacos and we're also gonna do a apple pie cake we've not tried it before so uh, we, but we thought we'd give it a go uh, and we'll see how it goes so as usual helena is wrapped up a bit warm today <laughs> she's got a glove two pairs of gloves on and she's got her special <laughs> gloves on so that she can touch the screen and go for that so yeah helena's here i don't know if andrea is on is, today yeah. oh morning andrea uh, or paul because we like to call her person of restricted growth because she's only little uh, morning, Porg. Uh, so Andy will take down any questions you've got, hopefully, and we will be able to answer them. Uh, the ones for afterwards. As usual, anything on the cook that you want to ask, ask away. If we see it, we'll try it. Or if Helena sees it, she'll ask the questions and we'll get on with it. So let's go straight in. Let's go and have a look what's going on here. So that is a pork shoulder. Um, I've got a bit of string here so I can pick it up. Um, so effectively pulled pork. Um, I've got a bit of juice in the bottom and I've got it in a Dutch oven. Um, so this is sitting in some orange juice and a little bit of water. I've got the Egg Genius uh, controlling it and it's been on since four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, so as with any low and slow cook, so this is at 110 degrees, we've got the convector in there. Um, so as with any low and slow cook, get them on early. Um, I nearly got caught Not out myself. Yeah, nearly got caught out this morning. Um, it wasn't, I hadn't wrapped it. It wasn't going to get there on time, so I wrapped it. So I've sped it up a little bit. So when I say I wrapped it, I took the pork out, put it in foil and turned the temperature up for a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's been on since four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Note to self, always use the 24 hour rule that I tell everyone about and didn't do myself. Um, and what was the sitch with the charcoal this morning? Oh, and the charcoal had nearly run out because I didn't put oh. enough in there because I was being a bit lazy. stupid last yesterday. Lazy, yes, lazy is the word. <laughs> Thanks for that. So yeah, at seven o'clock this morning, I had to come out here and top it up because it was nearly run out. The, the fan was going faster and faster on the Egg Genius. I have got the Egg Genius running it, just so much easier on an overnight cook. Um, so I put it on at four yesterday and didn't even look at it until I worked out it was nearly run out of charcoal. So we've got the Egg Genius running that. So that poor pork we're gonna get off in a bit. Um, on our far egg, we've got an egg genius um, again running this one this is the one we're going to bake the cake on so this is the one that is 180 degrees at the grid level so i've got it uh, with a plate setter in or convector in feet up baking stone on top and it's controlling that to the level as i've said before i like to use the egg genius when i'm using uh, doing cake cooks because they tend to be a bit more fussy i don't think this one will be but um, it's just good to do Right, so let's get on and get some stuff cooking, shall we? So, I'm gonna go over here. So I'm gonna get cooking. The first one's a, a dressing. So, uh, do you not wanna do the cake? Yeah, I'm gonna do it second. Okay. Is Didn't right? know what order you were doing yeah. stuff, that's No, because this needs to, when, the cake's not gonna finish. Okay. Um, so, I've just got some tomatoes. You could just use nice, ripe uh, red tomatoes, but I've got some heritage, so I've got some green, some um, red, and some yellow tomatoes, and I've just chopped them up. I have in here uh, some chopped onion, so half a big, really big onion, so that's just going in. I have a good two or three tablespoons of um, chopped up um, 
cilantro. I want uh, coriander. coriander. I couldn't think of the name. And I have some um, chopped up one whole jalapeno, uh, which I can get fresh from my local um, uh, fruit and veg guys, uh, Les Ward in Cottenham. They're brilliant. Um, so I get those. Um, we'll do some ABTs as well this week. So I've got a few of those. Um, atomic buffalo turds. Look them up on the website. And some salt. So those are going in. And then we just need a lot of lime juice. So I'm going to do two whole limes, juice of those into here. Just imagine that we're on a beach. It's warm and sunny. <laughs> uh, this is really, you know, this is a Mexican dish. This is, you know, beer in hand. Well, we've got the beer. Lit. I brought them out oh. so we can have one. Um, apart from I left the bottle over inside, but that's all right. You must have one on the yeah, side I've of the egg, surely. Yeah. So we're getting the lime in there. Now this is best to make in advance. So just gonna mix it all together. If you use really ripe, bright red tomatoes, it will look fabulous, um, but they didn't have really ripe ones. They only had um, heritage ones today. So they looked better, so I'm going for that. So that, what's its name? Uh, oh, Pico de Gallo, isn't it? Yeah, Pico de Gallo. So, um, bit like a, just a standard salsa, a um, bit more onion in there, a um, bit of jalapeno. So that's going to be really tasty. Now you want to leave this and let it or all come together for a couple of hours. We're not going to get that much time, but there we go. Now I'll do the cake. Okay. Is that all right? Right, let's get those bits out of the way. Put them there. Right, all my cake ingredients are over here. So this is a weird cake. My hands are freezing and it's Good only going to get worse. <laughs> um, this is frozen dough. <laughs> In fact, I might do it straight onto this board, it'd be easier. I'll just scrape it down. So the point is, we're going to grate it. So it's almost frozen. I took it out a bit before. I mean, it is minus two out here, so it hasn't really had time to defrost. Um, but the point of this is we're going to use, it's a pastry. And we're going to use this on the top of our cake and the bottom of our cake. I've already done half of it, so I'm not going to put you through the pain of watching me grate my fingers because I can't feel them and the dough. Um, should have left it in. It's yeah, so it softens up quite quick. I think. Yeah. So basically, I made the dough last night. It was um, egg yolks and sugar with a bit of melted butter that was then cooled and then some flour and then you come to it it's a really lovely silky dough and then you split it in two pop it in the freezer they said for a minimum of two hours but I figured I'd just make it last night um so yeah right so I'm going to give up at that point the base and the top right. so, so I'll show you the base so, we've so here's the base that's one half of the dough all grated popped in and then just pushed down gently and to that we are going to add this is how many apples six six apples that have been grated as well and then squished to get all the juice out of them so you leave so, them for about 15 minutes yeah grate them into a colander and then all the juice falls out tell them whose recipe out. this is right and then in this cup we have lots of nice things including um some sultanas that we um, it didn't say to do it, the recipe, so we've changed, oh, it's me, we changed the recipe. So we've got sultanas steeped in um, Filipino rum. If you ever go to uh, Majestic, there's a rum called Don Papa. It is delicious. I think you can get it on Amazon as well. Um, we've got rum, we've got... I actually had a few cranberries left, so I chopped yeah. those in. Yeah. And apricot jam, apricot some uh, uh, rind of a lemon, some uh, cinnamon. Yeah, what that's else? It. That's, that's it. it. So we're going to get that in there. So this is our cake filling, if you have a filling for a cake. So we'll get that mixed up. And we'll get that on the top. I don't know why I do the cakes. I should be videoing you doing cakes. You make the cakes, not me. This is gonna be a squeeze in this tin. That will be all right. So this is a 20 centimeter sprung loaded tin without the spring. Um, <laughs> We haven't got a 20 centimetre sprung loaded tin. Um, so we'll just use one like this. So um, 
we've greased it a little bit. Oh, my fingers. And then I'm just going to sprinkle over this grated dough. pastry, pastry dough, over the top. I'll put a grate the last little bit in a second. Obviously, you'll get the pleasure of doing this indoors, but um, yeah. Why do we do this bit outdoors? Could have gone inside. First time ever. No. So who have we got on today? Uh, while I grate this. Oris and Sons. Morning, David. Like your sauces. Um, so David uh, is a local uh, business, another local business. Oris, O R R I W S and Sons um, makes um, very different sauces. So the one my particular favourite is a nettle and jalapeno um, barbecue sauce or condiment or whatever you call it. So um, look them up. Oris and Sons. Um, yeah, who else? Uh, David Steele. Morning, David. Um, Two Davids. Wow. Uh, our lovely friend, Barbecue Medic. Morning, Steve. Uh, There's Cheeky Pixie there doing, she'll be copying this cake. Um, and Ben Slater Farming. Morning, Ben. Um, Are you out ploughing, doing anything? Is it too wet? Let us know. Who knows what you do when it's your this Your brother, cold. although I think he might be... Uh, Still in his bed at the moment. Morning, Chubby. Rach, Morning, Sarah. Rach. Um, Your Sarah. Yeah, my Sarah. Morning, Sarah. And then Vicky Mumford. Morning, Mark Vicky. Mark from Newcastle. Mark Morning, spoke Mark. by food. Wow, we've got them all on. Does this go on now? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. you spring some sugar. Right. So, and then we'll get on to the main dishes. God, sorry, I'm going to have to blow my nose. It's got so chilly. <laughs> right. And then onto the top, we've got our cake, uh, got some um, sugar mixed with cinnamon and you mix it and let it go together so it sort of blends. And then we're gonna put all of this. Cool. And that's half the mixture actually that it said, so. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, this is a sweet topped cake. I'm doing quite well at this. Yeah, I think you're not doing bad. Any hangovers this morning? We haven't asked that in that. Well, I did ask it a couple of weeks ago, didn't I? Come on, Sarah, you must have a hangover. Right. Cake's going in. So this egg, we've got at 180 degrees at the grid level. Um, so I've got plate setter, feet up, baking stone on top, so they're separated with by the stainless steel grid. That can go in, and that's gonna go in for about 45 minutes. So it won't be finished by the time we finish but we will post photos of it and show you. So John Pritchard is snowed in. Oh, that was Yeah, there's a nice oh, bit there. What's thanks that? Thanks for telling me that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so John's in North Norfolk with lots of snow, yeah, although he snowed. did make it to Histon this week. Yeah, but he's snowed in. Uh, Chris from CP Smith Stoves has got a little hangover. Sarah oh, nice hasn't one, got Chris. a Chris. Chris, Sarah hasn't got hasn't? a hangover. Oh, Sarah. Fair enough. Right. Next dish. Let's move on. I'll just scrape this down a little bit. Couple of bits out of the way. Right, so we're going to go straight on. You wanted a rotisserie dish. Uh, you also wanted um, tacos. So what better than some fish tacos? So I have two sea bass. They were frozen. They've been in my freezer for ages, so whatever. Uh, they're farmed, small feet, sea bass, and I'm going to put them into the uh, little uh, fish basket that fits onto the rotisserie quite nicely. Cool. Here comes the wind. Oh, hello. That's a bit of a cling film that's just happened. It's a cling. Mm. Sorry, neighbours. Oh, the roof the house. I think it went in the gutter. Oh. Oh, that's oh, in our gutter now. Perfect. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Anyway, so we'll get the fish, uh, get the basket on. Um, I think it's linked on my site. It's an only fire one. Uh, so we'll get that. And to these fish, uh, I'll do them in here. Uh, what have I done with my knife? It's just there. I'm going to um, slash them just a bit to get some uh, seasoning into them. So I'll do them three times on each side. Do both. And then I've got a bit of a weird seasoning. So um, you, this is me making it up as I go along. You could use a, a, a rub. So. Um, um, Angus Noink Mexican rub is what I've used on the pork and it's called Juan Moore rub 
quite clever. Um, so that's their Mexican rub, so you could use that. But what I've done, um, I don't know if you've ever seen these. They're like little, basically they're limes. So they're called black limes, dried black limes. So basically they, they put them in salt water uh, to suck all the juice out of them and then dry them in the sun. And they're like little ping pong balls. Um, so I've taken one of those. I've ground, uh, put it in a mortar and pestle, ground it up with a bit of sea salt uh, in there. You could put a bit of chili in there, but I'm just gonna put some of that on, onto my fish. A Little bit on the outside, a little bit on the inside. And it's, it, the, the smell of it is just incredible. It's um, really, really limey. So, sort of kind of very intense citrus yeah so, so look look them up i found them um you can get them on amazon i found them on there but i bought them just at a local asian supermarket so right we're going to put them in the basket so either side doesn't matter which way around we'll get the top on which i'll put down there and we're going to griddle these and then we'll use those so this rack, you just push these things down and it just holds them in then. So hopefully that'll stay on. So, over here, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. We're at 180, I'm gonna turn it up to about 200. I'm um, gonna put the fish in and we'll see how long they take. Might help if I put the let's queue in first. Um, so it's just here. <laughs> so um, when you put these in, by the way, and um, I'll come back to shipping and all that lot. When you put them in, drop them in and then pull them to the front. So what you don't want to do is pull your lid over the back of this and pull your gasket off. Sure. Sure. Um, so like I've done just here, because my lid's not adjusted very well. This is what I need to do. But yeah, just pull it forward um, and that's the best way. And then in, pop your fish in, they'll spin round, turn it up a bit and they should cook 15, 20 minutes. I would give my hands a wash, but the sink is frozen, as usual. Right. So we're going to make some first. The wipes aren't frozen this week. Have we got any questions? Uh, no, haven't seen any so far. Any questions, any comments? Uh, someone has got one of those fish racks and says it's brilliant. Yeah, they're really good. Um, you can just, if you've got thick fish, you can have it on the top level or you can squash it down and um, so you can use it will work on fillets, it will work on whole fish, really like it. Um, it's not one of mine, it's off Amazon, um, but it's linked off my site. And as usual, you know, buy it through my, click on the link on my site, I get about 4p this week. Okay, so yeah. um, last week we mentioned that we had the fish van comes to Histon. Mm. So someone, uh, Mickey in Cambridge said he's just down the road. When is he in Histon and where does he park? He parks in the car park of the, um, pub opposite the post office. Is it the Barley Mow? Or Barley Mow. Yeah. Yeah, I was just trying to think what the name was. Uh, parks in the car park of the Barley Mow on a Wednesday morning between 9.30 and 11.30. So if you're in Cambridge, go and see him. Um, I've got his details if you want them. He's John. Uh, I've got his number. So if there's anything special you want, you can give him a buzz and he will try and get it for you. So um, I talked to him about getting some lobster. Um, I think we said that last week. We didn't, I didn't do it. I didn't get around to it. Right. Um, so let's uh, have some fun with our pulled pork. So um, I'm going to, don't get to do this very often, flip my board up the other way. And now I'm going to go and grab the pork, which is done by the way. Okay, that's dirty, so put it in there. Um, so we're going to grab this out the, and I'll show you what's been going on. Um, I was really lazy last night. Um, I left the fat on. Um, this is actually one of our pigs. So I'm gonna take the probe out, that's hot. Um, so this is the shoulder of one of our pigs, so it's only a little one. Um, I think this pig was called, uh, well, last year we had two, I only had two. The year before, I think I told you we had, um, but I'm gonna go back and make a change in here while I talk. So we had three the year before last, or two years before that, um, and they were called, so I'm just going to take the genius off because I want to get this egg hot now and that'll just hinder it for now. Um, they were called um, uh, ketchup, mustard and... Apple sauce. 
Apple, huh? Apple sauce. Apple sauce, yeah. Um, and apple sauce, the big one, was, well, they were all pretty big by the end of it, because we're, um, I'm just gonna pop this underneath. Um, we had all sorts of trouble trying to load them in. They're not silly. Um, trying to load them into the, uh, into the van to take them to the abattoir. Um, apple sauce was having none of it. Um, and so we ended up going to the abattoir with only two and a lot of stress um, that actually turned one of our friends vegetarian. Um, so, um, but yeah, these two were last year. I don't name them. We don't name them. Our friends down the village name them. Simon Margerison and his kids. Margerison? Margerison. Yeah, yeah. um, uh, I always get that wrong. Um, but Simon and his ki kids name them. So you might know Simon, he, he's uh, on some of the forums as well. He's another big green egger. Um, but yeah, his kids named them. And last year they named them um, Smoke and Fire. So you could go and meet Smoke Fire. Anyway, their choice, not mine. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. Oh, that's gonna be nice. I'm just gonna mix up this sauce a bit because this has got all the pork juices in it. Um, it's got orange juice in it. So this has got the juice of two or three oranges in there. Um, and that's apparently what makes this a great Mexican dish. So what I'm gonna do, just grab my gloves. Um, I'm gonna get this sauce and put some in one of my T. Balangino pans and just boil it down a bit so that we can then put it through the, uh, put it through the, the pork afterwards. So get some of that in there. Probably plenty, a little bit on the side. Just going to pop that in the egg. So straight in, take the handle off. And then we want this to be about 200, so we're going to open it. I'm just going to unplug the egg genus, which is whirring away. Uh, bottom's open. So that will just start warming that up. 108 to 200. It'll start getting up there pretty quick, warming up through. So let's have a look at this pork. And this could get messy. So yeah, I believe this is Fire, who was the most timid pig we've ever had. The others all love a good back rub and a um, tickle, a tickle, and they're you know great fun. But Fire just didn't want to know, um, and also was a bit of a bugger when it came to loading onto the truck because uh, it was a she, wasn't it? She was um, too timid of the the ramp. So it took us a little while. Anyway, right, I'm gonna try and get the skin off, which comes off easily. Now, what you could do with this now, it's got lovely flavors attached to it. Um, you could pop it back in and crisp it up. Put it on a high heat somewhere around 220. Uh, leave the fat on the back and it would crisp up nicely. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna pop it down here. Um, but what we will do now is pull this pork and then get it ready to put back into our sauce. So um, I love the, this chopping board just for this. Oh, look at that. Morning, Marcus. Got some bear claws. Who's that, Marcus Borden? Yeah. Morning, Marcus. So we mentioned Marcus last week and his book. Uh, new book coming out, Skewered. It's gonna be massive this year. Uh, comes out the 27th of April. Um, you all know I've all recommended his other book before, Food and Fire, or Fire, Fire and Food. I always get it around the wrong way. Um, but yeah, Marcus, uh, look him up. Marcus Borden, Country Wood Smoke. Um, and you can get his book on uh, uh, from Amazon, pre-order on Amazon. So our mine's on order. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I'm in trouble for that, aren't I? Yeah. Fine. Right, so we are going to, um, what we're gonna do with these, Get a bit of that sauce which won't have won't have gone down too much by now um, but we'll get a bit of that sauce i'm just gonna wipe my hands again and we put it through the pork and then we're gonna fry it um, so turn it into carnitas so fried pulled pork um, get it nice and crispy and then when we build our ta our tacos we'll get it in there so let me just get a bit of that sauce so we have had a little bit of snow, still some on the bench. Yeah, still some on fire around all the eggs. Is it some around by the egg. Yes. Keeping my American champagne cold. So uh, what's your favourite skewer? Mine? Yeah. 
Oh. oh, I did like those the ones we did last week. The uh, they were pretty good. The pork um, uh, satay that we did last week. Yeah. They were really nice. Um, oh, that's going. Hey, look at that. That's good. Right, it's nice and warm anyway. I'm going to put one of my cast iron pans in there. Get that warmed up. I'm going to push this through the pork. Okay. Just to give a, put a bit of extra flavour back into it. We'll give it a good mix round. I might use that pan to take it back. In fact, we'll put my, there they are. Now, I'm not a massive fan of pulled pork. Um, I think I've said that to some people. So, um, although my brother-in-law cooked the best pulled pork, I've done this story, haven't I, so many times. Rob cooked the best pulled pork and did it on my old gas barbecue. Um, and I think the reason I liked it so much is I don't like things really smoky. Um, I don't know if you can see on the edges of these. You see it's slightly pink. That's called a smoke ring. Um, you get it around the outside of meats where the meat um, reacts with the, carb uh, the nitrogen oxide um, in your barbecue. Uh, it's called a smoke ring. That's not particularly smoky, this one, because I didn't use any, sm any wood in there. I just used charcoal. Right, we're not going to use all of this. So I'll just pop enough to do a few tacos. The rest of this, what we're going to do is we'll keep it and we will um, freeze it, fat pack it and freeze it, and then we can warm it up. Perfect. So we'll take this over. So I'm going to fry this off, ready for our tacos. Should we have a look at our fish? Yep. Ooh, look at that. So starting to cook. Need a little bit more. I might turn the heat up. I might go and grab a little bit of oil to put on those. I'll do right. that. Talk Mind to, that, yeah. Yeah. Talk to people while I grab the oil. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so despite there being a little bit of snow in the garden, we also have first signs of spring on the way. Sorry, I'm, I look huge in that shadow. I've got so many layers on and my hands are still freezing. What's uh, this? I'm showing the people first signs of spring. Show my rat trap. <laughs> no, I didn't show the rat trap. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, get a little bit more someone's off. asked how much is the block? Uh, drop me a note and I can quote you. Quite expensive is the answer. Off the top of my head, so I've just put oil onto the charcoal. Excellent. So. A bit of heat. I, I don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's freezing. warming up. Um, I want to say it's 300 quid. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but I can quote you. Just drop me, uh, drop me a private message uh, with your email address and I'll just send you a quote. Um, you buy it directly from Big Green Egg, so it's one of their products. Right, fish is going, perfect. Let's go get our tacos and then we'll start putting stuff together. So nice, hopefully this all Probably don't need even all that. A bit more. There's only two of us, aren't there? Yeah. Or are we going to drop some off? We could do a drop. Yeah, I need to go to the. I need to go and drop off uh, a let's queue so we can go and drop some off to your mum. So let's do a little bit extra. Is, is mama on? Mama is on. Fancy some of this for lunch, mama? Right. Give that a couple of minutes to crisp up, then we'll flip it over. So let's go. Back here, uh, I'm going to take this block out of the way for a minute. I've got my, I didn't bring the other one out, did I? I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll put this into the lid and then I'll flip the block over. Back. Sorry people, I was supposed to bring my other chopping board out but forgot. So let's get that. Steve George on. Yes, he is. Morning Steve, morning Sandra. Um, I have uh, I will do, while I'm dropping off this other parcel, I'll drop off to you as well. There you go. Right. Let's get that out of the way. Uh, morning, Dushi Mark from Dushi. Oh, Mark's on. Morning, Mark. Uh, Dushi Shukutri, Dutchy, Dushi. Has he still told us which way to pronounce it? Tell us which way to pronounce it. Um, make some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous um, charcuterie. Uh, so yeah, look them up. Dutchy, I say Dutchy. Helena says Douchey. 
Um, makes some gorgeous charcuterie down in Cornwall, um, but does mail order. And God, we had loads of it. Douchey. Douchey. I can't remember. Well, how, oh, he's, now he's, oh, someone says douchey. Oh, and he says, <laughs> sorry, Marcus said douchey. Mark said duchy. <laughs> so we still don't know. <laughs> well, we'll go with what Mark said, right? Right, let's move on. We're going to do, um, I've got a couple of other little bits to go with our tacos, and then we'll get assembling when this is all done. Um, don't need that for now. Um, I have in here um, some homemade Greek yogurt. Uh, we get through so much Greek yogurt in this house that we make it ourselves. We've got one of those, um, uh, oh, what do you call it? Slow cooker. The slow cooker thing. So I've got some um, uh, Greek yogurt. I'm going to put some mayonnaise into that to give it a little bit of sweetness. <coughs> I'm making this up as I go along, if you haven't gathered. Um, I'm going to go in with a bit of um, chipotle. You can get this from, um, this is from uh, White Trace. A bit of that and some lime juice. Just a nice zingy, smoky sauce. To, and we'll get this onto our taco. Might put a bit of salt in there. So I'm getting filthy here. Right, a bit of salt. So we've got some sauce to go over it. No double dipping. That's pretty good. I like that. Right. Now you'll have seen in, during the week. Oh, hold on, because they keep reflecting and bouncing oh. the light. My purchase. <laughs> A uh, couple of taco holders. Now what I do want to do, and I'm running out of space on the eggs, I can do it on that other one. I'll get the pork. Let's go and flip the pork. In fact, let's take these over with us. Um, I'm not going to make my corn tacos. Uh, if you want to know how to make them, um, um, Steve from, uh, Steve, David from Spice Punch, um, have a look at his uh, Instagram. He made some during the week. So, right. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. That's crisped up beautifully. What I might do, see if I can get them on the sides. Just want to toast these really quickly just to warm them up. So we'll go in, look at that, directly on. They're gonna only gonna take seconds. So we'll get those two. These are good for two tacos or three tacos. What was wrong with a tea towel? A tea towel. You can make a taco thing out of a tea towel. <laughs> Steve just said exactly the same. <clears throat> well played, Steve. You can have toys if you want toys. <laughs> Look at those, come out nicely. Um, obviously you can use the, the um, these puffing up now. Um, you can use the ones that are uh, uh, the hard crispy shell ones, or you can put them in like this. we do two more. <coughs> I forgot to say, even the delivery man with Mrs. Sweet said, Oh, parcel for Nick again. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Not Mr. FedEx. No. He calls me Mr. Will I Am. <laughs> it's hilarious. No, it wasn't. I think it was the Amazon man. Oh. The new one, very friendly and very nice. Though. Right, this while well, these are doing, I'm going fast. Um, so you just want to do a little bit of a, a, a recap because we've still got people jumping yeah. on. Oh, hello. Oh, that's better. So we've got some fish. These are two sea bass, and we've got this lovely black um, uh, lime. They're blackened limes, so they're in the fish basket rotating. We're then going to take the fish off, so we'll do some fish tacos. Um, we've got these two, these ones here. Let's just do these. Oh, I can smell those others. Oh, hello. Hello. Might be a... Yeah, we're all right, just about. Whew. They're hot. Safe right. by the smell. <laughs> so these can, I shouldn't have done these now, should I? Because I'll do the fish ones in a bit. So let's leave those there. 
Let's go and grab these two. We'll grab our meat. I'm gonna start making them. Is that cooled down enough? Yep. Yeah. Let's grab my gloves. Right. So you wanted tacos, people. You've got tacos. So there is our carnitas. Oh. So these are our pulled pork tacos. So if you've got loads of pulled pork, this is a great way of. Uh, uh, so Franco's asked, will the taco, will those tortillas harden up once they're cooked? I don't they're, think they will. They're, they're hardening a little bit, but not too much. I don't think we've used these before, Franco. So good question. I'm not sure we know the answer. Uh, let me just wipe the knife because I have fish from that. It's probably fine, but it's might as well be good on camera for once. Right. Oh, yeah, that. Let's get a bit of lettuce into these. So if I do them that way, they don't blow away. Oh, hello. That one's gone. I was about to say. Right on cue. We're toweling here. Get some lettuce into them. I'm going to get in there with some of this lovely pork. Smells delish. Get that in. I'll save you some, Mama. I did say I would. In fact, let's not spread it out a bit. I can always do more. Right, get that in there. Um, we've got our lovely, I want to call it salsa. It's not a salsa, it's a pico, pico de gallo, I think. De gallo. So we'll get some of that on the top. Um, I'm going to put some tomatoes, some really little red tomatoes on there, uh, just to give it a bit of colour. Just chop these up. Mr. White has just said, has my trampoline made it to yours yet? No, but I did see it blown away the other day, Paul. Um, yeah, I bet the kids are devastated. Right, get some little bit of tomato in there. Now you could spice this up however you want, make how put on whatever you want. Nice. I'm going to put a bit of my um, sour um, yogurt, mayonnaise, chipotle sauce. sauce on here. Obviously, they're going to go cold practically instantly if they haven't already frozen. <laughs> Surprised the camera girl is still here, camera lady. My hands are bitter. As I, said. <laughs> I can't actually feel my fingers. <laughs> right, got those on. Uh, I will put a little squeeze of lime over the top. Don't forget the fish. Yeah. Like that, and a tiny bit of coriander, just to make them look pretty. So, those are our first set. Those are our um, pulled pork carnitas uh, tacos with our Mexican drizzle. I think they look pretty nice. So, you wanted tacos, you've got tacos. There's the first set. Let's go and see how fish is getting on. I've got to do another one now. Oh yeah, look, solid as a rock. So Franco, they do go stiff. Stiff, there you go. Or well, maybe it's just frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, might take it inside and it'll just go all limp again when it's, you know, it is minus two or something stupid. Right, um, fish. Let's see how we're getting on. going to probe them see how warm they are in the middle so they're quite they're 70 so you know fish is done when it's at 63 so uh, they are cooked so we'll get those off and we'll make those up they might be a bit translucent in the middle we'll find out right is that hot or is that cooled okay. in fact let's just put them on Put them on here for ease at the moment. Just going to get my gloves. They're here. Take one of these out. It's not only frozen. It is uh, trying to take these out. Uh, right. So let's just take one for now. This one out the way. Oh, I need to do a couple more tacos, don't I? 
Right, down most fish, there's always a line down the side. Um, there, you can't really see it on this, but if you go in along that line, what you can then do is pull the flesh like that. And so you won't get the bones. So I'll do that. So I'm just going to make one here because I've lost the other, just for speed. Um, so Bernie has asked, is there a fish basket that fits, fits the Minimax? I don't think there is. Um, I haven't seen one yet. Um, Thanks, Ali. So if Catch anyone you later. knows. Sorry? That's, someone said they've got to go. Oh. <laughs> so we're going in there with our little bit of fish. We're going to get our dressing on there. I'll Let eat one of these. Your uh, little helper is uh, having a go at making um, the gooey chocolate puddings oh, tonight Lexi. for a Valentine's yeah. dinner. Good for you, Lexi. Now, She's to go with the lots fish. Of cooking with my mate. We have um, just some red onion. We did this the other week. Red onion, just chopped up uh, into some red wine vinegar. And we'll just sprinkle that over the top because it looks amazing. There we go. We're going to get, oh, look at that. Forgot that in the other one. Guacamole. Homemade guacamole. We did this last summer. I mean, it really is a summer dish. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling that. So we'll get some guacamole in there. We'll get some more of our Mexican drizzle. I'm going to put a bit more fish on the top, just so you can tell it's a fish taco. Flip this over. Again, down the middle. Flip it up. There we go. Get our fish uh, over So the top. this is a sea bass. Yes. So we did a couple of them uh, in the fish basket on the egg. There you go. And a bit of tomato, a bit of that, and a bit of coriander. Thanks, Sarah. And we're good. So Lexi is making... Gooey chocolate gooey puddings. Ch Lexi's gooey cho chocolate puddings. They're up on my website. So have a look at those. Have a family Valentine's dinner tonight. There we go. So that is a sea bass. Um, coated with uh, black lime uh, and it's all running out this end uh, with our pico de gallo and a bit of um, sauce so there you go two tacos my fish is going to go absolutely freezing but we'll deal with it um, just going to wipe my hands and we're going to have a look at the cake oh dear a taco's seen better days <laughs> So let's have a look at this cake before we go. Ooh. Oh, gonna be a winner. Yeah, that's looking good. So this is a apple pie cake. So we'll put the recipes for all of this up. Um, I've been really bad this week and not had time. So the good news though, um, great news. The Let's Q's have arrived. Uh, finally got them through customs. Um, so they're all here. Um, Bad news, the Minimax ones have all sold out. The last one went out today. Well, I can't believe that. So I've, I've bought, I've sold as many this week of Minimax as I sold in a month. So I will get another order in and hopefully they won't take this as long now. We're getting better at this customs thing. So we'll get some more of those in. Um, so they'll be back in stock shortly. How, how long shortly is it? I don't know. Um, so, but thank you for placing the orders on those. Shall I go over here then? You, yeah, yeah, we'll just, yeah. yeah. Um, just trying to keep the background a little bit um, darker. You don't want the bright sky, you want the dark stuff. Um, that's it, we can go back a bit then. Willow, up. cupboards are flying open. Um, so those are all in uh, and going out. So there's plenty of ones for the extra large, there's plenty for the large, um, just no mini maxes. Um, in terms of big green egg, uh, most things are coming back into stock things that are out of stock at the moment are ash tools um, which is a shame uh, the cast iron pans and I don't have any idea on when they're they're um, coming back I think I've got a couple one or two left I will update the stock to reflect that um, but otherwise yeah it's all pretty good um, so what else do I need to tell you I think that's it so we'll get these recipes up um, if you've got any questions Ping us a note. I'm around all week. Um, and suggestions for oh next yeah, week. suggestions for next week. 
So you asked for tacos, you got tacos, which are now getting really cold, but they look lovely. Um, what would you like next week? Something, you know, bar that we could have on a beach in our bikinis. And, <laughs> you know. Without having to wear 17 layers yeah. of clothes. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, it's got to be, there you go, look. Always equipped here. Good. Cheers, people. Happy Valentine's. Happy or Valentine's. Galentine's, yeah. as everyone's talking about this year. What are they talking about? Galentine's. Galentine's. Yeah. No idea. We don't do it. Or I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else has blown away. Mm. So cheers, people. Oh, uh, someone suggested duck. Yes. Do duck breasts. Duck breasts. Lovely duck breasts. Nearly bought some yesterday. Did you? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do duck. Okay. I've got some in the freezer as well. Right, I think I better get going because Helena is looking <laughs> decidedly chilly. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, we will see you next week. Um, yeah, and maybe duck. Maybe we could do some um, duck what? stir fry. No, no. I was thinking maybe some um, potato do dauphinoise or okay, something like yeah, that cool. to go with it. That's always nice. Oh, request for sausage rolls again. Okay. Right. So thank you guys. We will see you next week. And Steve, I will be over with your charcoal shortly. All right. Cheers. Bye.